In this lecture, we continue to consider this notion of strategic fit of how businesses that can come together, whether you, you're buying a new business, whether you're starting a new business, whether you're entering into a joint venture with someone else, whether that business or that operation in another industry, or related business, related industry, or unrelated industry, whether or not the whole can be greater than the sum of its parts, that is, the strategic fit, synergy potential, by looking at the value chains of the various businesses, that is, the value that's created all the various steps of production. This is why value, the value chain, the notion of the value chain is so important when we ana analyze the strategic position of various businesses and various firms. Where do they have their specialized skills and resources that make them competitive? And where do they have these generalized ones that you can build upon but don't necessarily get unique competitive advantage from? You have supply chain, for example, in each of the business units. You have technologies that you need and use. You have your operations. You have your sales and marketing organization. You have your distribution channels and then customer support. And then you have a lot of back office activities as well. Every business has these various elements. And you can look for ways that you can leverage technology. You can look for ways you can leverage customer service. Each of these stages, you can look for ways that you can find opportunities to try to create more value in the combination than they could have separately or apart. And remember, distinguishing between specialized resources, maybe a really wonderful brand, a high-end brand of some kind, your marketing and sales, that you can take, a, take advantage of that brand and get some glow around some new business you buy that, has, that now can take, have access to the, the association with that new brand. So there's opportunities in, when, when you look at companies that you're, or, or businesses that you're bringing into a particular diversified firm, supply chain activities, uh, manufacturing activities, distribution, customer service, all of these R&D capabilities, new products rolling, new ideas for businesses rolling off the, the transom. You can look at all of these possibilities across all of the business units and try to identify ways that when you put them together, your whole is greater than the sum of the parts. That's what you're trying to accomplish when you bring these pieces together. Uh, you're trying to use things like scale or scope. That is, you have a broad footprint of retail or warehousing operations, those kind of things that you could make use of. Um, you have ways that you can combine the value chain elements. You might have multiple warehouses uh, for two different businesses. You're running uh, one which is a, a lumber yard type of a business, another is an electrical supply business. Each of them have different warehouses, multiple warehouses in multiple states, multiple communities. If you combine them, you can move those warehouses together. So these are another uh, additional opportunities that you can do that. You could get some brand, and that brand um, spillover, or you're starting to sell multiple, you could sell some of your products under a different brand, perhaps getting into a new market with a new set of customers. And then collaboration across businesses, sometimes one business is particularly good at one skill set, and that's a weakness of another business, and perhaps there's ways that you can collaborate across the businesses to find opportunities for having the whole, again, become more valuable than the sum of its parts. Those are the, the sorts of things that you look for. When you look at the general diversified but unrelated businesses, but also related, but the unrelated businesses, you can get economies of scope by being across multiple businesses with a similar, with a more efficient infrastructure, or economies of scale, which simply means that you have lots of assets in a particular area. You make a lot, so every one that you roll off, any new product or service you roll off has lower marginal cost. You, you have uh, low total cost, and therefore marginal cost. You have opportunities just by virtue of being bigger, potentially, to make the whole sum, the, greater than the sum of the parts of two smaller operations. Those are the sorts of things that we look at when you're bringing these businesses together. How they come together to provide competitive advantage where a diversified firm could be stronger and more well-positioned competitively is what we'll talk about in the next lecture.